Number 10. Virat Kohli and Gautam Gamher. Things got really ugly in an IPL 2013 match between KKR and RCB, when a verbal confrontation between Gautam Gamher and Virat Kohli occurred right in the middle of the match. Virat Kohli was caught out in the sweeper cover in the 10th over and KKR captain Gamher, along with other players converged in the middle to celebrate. Following an apparent exchange of words between the two, Gamher suddenly approached angrily towards Kohli, who was still standing at short cover instead of walking back. However, Rajat Bhatia intervened and pushed the two just in time before they could get into a spat, even as the fielders and umpires came to cool the simmering tension. Both Kohli and Gamher downplayed the event after the end of the match. Number 9 Ahmed Shahzad and Wahab Rias. On the occasion of Valentine's Day 2016, there was no love lost between Ahmed Shahzad and Wahab Rias, after Wahab dismissed Shahzad in a PSL match between Quetta Gladiators and Peshawar Zalmi. After breaking his stumps with a slower one, Rias approached Shahzad throwing a few words. Teammates and umpires came running when Rias pushed Shahzad and kept exchanging words. This was in follow-up to Shahzad raising his bat at Rias after hitting a six off the previous ball. Both of them were heavily fined by the Pakistan Cricket Board later. Number 8 Ravindra Jaitja and Suresh Reina Always lightning fast on the field, Suresh Reina had misjudged two catches against West Indies in a tri-series match in 2013-14. The verbal duel took place when a frustrated Jaitja, after dismissing Sunil Nareen, walked towards Reina and apparently had a cold exchange of words. Some reports claimed that Jaitja took a jibe at Reina losing the captaincy to Virat Kohli, and even made comments at his failed fielding attempts. However, the tension died down at the end of the match got over, and the two walked off the field together. Number 7 Matthew Hayden and Glenn McGrath It was 1994, and both the Australians were still finding their feet in international cricket. A strong Australia A team was playing a match with the Australian first 11 in the Benson and Hedges World Series, and two of the country's future stars got into a fight in the middle of the match. Hayden smashed a ball to the cover fence, and while crossing over for a run, exchanged words with Glenn McGrath. The bowler, not impressed by what he heard, gave Hayden an earful and shoved him aside. Hayden later admitted, he had thought that McGrath intentionally stuck his arm out when Hayden was trying to cross, and that started the verbal spat. The ICC match referee, John Reed, met Hayden later, but since Reed wasn't sanctioned for the match, there was no jurisdiction. Number 6 Michael Clark and Simon Kadich After triumphing over a strong South African outfit in 2009, Simon Kadich decided to celebrate the moment with his teammates by singing the Australian Victory Song, Under the Southern Cross I Stand. Michael Clark, however, was keen on catching up with his model fiancé and was in disagreement with the timing of the song. Even as stunned teammates watched, Kadich allegedly caught Michael Clark by the throat. The incident had some serious implications on Kadich's career and even led to his early exit after Clark was made captain in late 2009. Kadich later admitted that the incident was a moment of passion and can be related to his bubbling Croatian bloodline. Number 5 Mohamed Asif and Shoab Akhtar Shoab Akhtar in a colorful career for the Pakistan, had a beautiful affair with controversy. One such incident, which threatened to end his career prematurely, happened ahead of the 2007 World T20. Actor got into a disagreement with fellow pacer Mohamed Asif and struck him with a bat on his left thigh which left the latter bruised. This dressing room incident led to Actor's withdrawal from the tournament's inaugural edition, and a fine along with a ban of three matches. Actor later apologized to Asif for the incident, but reignited another controversy saying that it was Aphrodite who provoked him to take the extreme step. Number 4 Doug Bracewell and Jesse Ryder 
This one took place outside the cricket field, and turned into a proper physical altercation, post an India-New Zealand test in 2014. Jesse Ryder, known for his temperamental behavior and alcohol-induced misdeeds, was involved in a brawl with teammate Doug Bracewell at a pub in Auckland. The two got injured from the fight, with Bracewell suffering a broken foot and Ryder injuring his hand. They were suspended from the next match of the test series. Number 3 Harbhajan Singh and Srez An One of the most discussed of all the confrontations, Harbhajan and Srisanthas on-field altercation grabbed a lot of media limelight, even though the actual incident was never ever shown on the live telecast. After his team's victory against the Mumbai Indians, the cameras caught Srez Ant crying inconsolably, with teammates around trying their best to calm him. Reports then started coming out that Harbhajan had apparently slapped Srez Ant with the back of his hand, the reason for which is still to be clear. After a disciplinary hearing, Harbhajan was suspended for the rest of the tournament and was even handed a fine. Years later, Srez Anth came up with a new twist to the saga by claiming that the incident was actually a planned one and that Harbhajan had elbowed him, the truth of which, he further revealed, was not released by the IPL. Number 2 Harbhajan Singh and Ambati Rayudu The latest incident took place during Mumbai Indians match against the rising Pune Supergiants in this year's IPL. Batting for Pune, Saurabh Tiwari pulled a delivery from Harbhajan Singh towards the midwicket fence. Rayudu, running in from deep midwicket, made a dive and tried to scoop the ball towards a running Tim Southey. The ball, however, made its way to the boundary. Harbhajan was visibly angry with Rayudu for his effort. Rayudu, however, was in no mood to listen, and even yelled back at his senior teammate. Both of them started speed walking at each other. Harbhajan then controlled himself and put his arms over Rayudu and tried to calm him. Rayudu didn't acknowledge the gesture, and still seething from the anger, pulled away. But both the players calmed down and made peace by the end of the innings. Number 1 Manoj Tiwari and Gautam Gamher Gautam Gamher is known for losing his temper. But he seemed to have crossed the limit during a Ranji match against Bengal. Not only did the Delhi skipper engage in an ugly argument with rival Bengal captain Manoj Tiwari, he also pushed on fielder umpire Krishnaraj Srinath. The incident happened in the eighth over of Bengal's second innings when Tiwari came in to bat at number four. Tiwari, who was wearing a cap, asked for his helmet as soon as he realized pacer Summit Narwhal will come on from the other end. He stopped Manan Sharma while he was about to bowl, and signaled his Bengal teammate in the dressing room to get his helmet. Manan thought it was a tactic to delay play, and the two players engaged in verbal volleys. Gamher, who was standing at first slip, then lost his cool and approached Tiwari angrily, hurling abusive words. The Bengal skipper also reacted angrily and even showed his bat to Gamher. The two players nearly came to exchanging blows when on-field umpires Srinath and C. Nandan intervened. Srinath tried to cool Gamher down, but Gamher pushed the umpire while trying to move towards Dewari. 